Dating methods are crucial to archaeology because they enable archaeologists to determine the age of artifacts, structures and other cultural remains. Understanding the chronology of human history as well as the sequence and relationships between different cultures and civilizations is essential in advancing our knowledge of the past. By establishing the age of archaeological material, dating methods help archaeologists to understand the technological and cultural developments that occurred over time as well as to establish the provenance and authenticity of artifacts. There are several different types of dating methods that archaeologists use to establish the age of archaeological material. They can be broadly divided into two categories, relative dating methods and absolute dating methods. Relative dating methods are based on the principle of stratigraphy which is the study of rock layers and their sequence. This dating method determines the order of events but not their absolute age. Archaeologists use stratigraphy to establish a relative chronology of events which is essential to constructing a timeline of human history. Stratigraphy Stratigraphy is the most basic and fundamental relative dating method. It involves analyzing the layers of soil and sediment in which artifacts are found to determine the relative ages of different archaeological strata. Stratigraphy is based on the principle of superposition which states that the lower layers of soil and sediment are older than the upper layers. Seriation Seriation is a relative dating method that is used to establish the relative chronology of artifacts. It involves analyzing the stylistic changes in artifacts over time, such as changes in pottery styles to create a relative chronology. The principle of seriation is based on the assumption that cultural styles and artifacts change over time and that these changes can be used to establish a relative chronology of events. Absolute dating methods are used to determine the exact age of artifacts, structures and other cultural remains. These methods provide a more precise chronology than relative dating methods and are essential to establishing a comprehensive timeline of human history. Radiocarbon Dating Radiocarbon dating is the most commonly used absolute dating method in archaeology. It is based on the decay of the radioactive isotope carbon-14. This method can be used to date organic materials up to 50,000 years old such as bone, charcoal and plant remains. Radiocarbon dating is a reliable method for dating archaeological material because the rate of decay of carbon-14 is well understood and constant. Dendrochronology Dendrochronology or tree ring dating is a method that is used to date wooden artifacts and structures. It is based on the fact that trees grow a new ring each year and the width of these rings varies according to environmental conditions. By matching the patterns of tree rings from different samples, archaeologists can establish the age of the wooden material. Thermoluminescence dating Thermoluminescence dating is a method that is used to date ceramic artifacts. It is based on the principle that certain minerals such as quartz and feldspar absorb radiation from the environment and release it slowly over time. By measuring the amount of radiation released, archaeologists can determine the age of the ceramic material. Optically Stimulated Luminescence Dating Optically Stimulated Luminescence Dating OSL, is a method that is used to date sedimentary deposits such as sand and soil. It is based on the principle that minerals in sedimentary deposits absorb radiation from the environment and release it slowly over time. By measuring the amount of radiation released, archaeologists can determine the age of the sedimentary material. Archaeomagnetic dating Archaeomagnetic dating is a method of absolute dating that uses changes in the Earth's magnetic field to date archaeological material. The Earth's magnetic field is constantly changing and when rocks or sediments are heated, the minerals in them become magnetized in the direction of the Earth's magnetic field at the time. This creates a record of the magnetic field at the time of the heating event, which can be used to determine the age of the material. If you want to know anything about Indian history, please leave it in the comment box so that I can come back with it. If you have liked the episode, 
प्लीज़ लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू